But thank you guys for joining me here in Think Museums. Today I'm at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. It's a beautiful monument that they set for Thomas Jefferson. It looks like uh, they're doing some construction on it, but let's explore the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. So right there here in Washington DC, I think museum is the best place to be. So this is the direction to the memorial itself. I'm gonna walk down so I can show you guys the, the statue, the Washington Monument, and also show you guys how the, the monument itself looks like. That's the Thomas Jefferson Monument. I bet it's in there. I don't know if they're allowing people right now to go in, and the Washington Monument is there. Pretty cool stuff. And up there is an aeroplane going to Reagan International Airport, which is down that side, not far away from here. That looks cool. And the Washington Monument. It's a rainy day here in Washington, D.C. And this is the right time. If you're gonna be coming to Washington, D.C. to do your stuff, this is the right time to come to Washington, D.C. because um, the weather is pretty good. The Thomas Jefferson Memorial. Hi there. Let's see what they have in the writing here. They might have some cool writings. Yeah, they got a big statue like the Lincoln one. So who has the biggest one? Lincoln or, or Jefferson? It ain't Washington because he don't got one like this. So they're doing some improvements on that monument. But Lincoln has the best memorial. I mean, it's almost the same size as, as this one. But So they're going to expand the exhibit space with the state of the art universally design exhibits that offer new perspective on Thomas Jefferson. Maybe they're what gonna the kind? make it woke. <laughs> oh, maybe woke, yeah. <laughs> so what, the new, what is the new perspective about? This is cool. Oh, look at that. The Washington Monument, that's how it looks like. Wow, I got some good view here. Yeah, those are the stones of hope from Martin King, right? Oh yeah, that's grand. Yeah. Very beautiful. Even if it is a rainy day. Even yeah, if it's a rainy day. It still looks beautiful. Lower level and accessibility improvements in progress at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. That's what the state parks are saying. So. Hey, you want to count stars again? Oh, let's count the stairs. Let's see how many stairs they have. I got one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not steep like uh, the Lincoln Memorial. The stairs here are pretty easy to maneuver. 47? Yeah. The Thomas Jefferson Memorial here in Washington, D.C. It's a rainy day out there, but we braved this rain to come and show you the memorial of Thomas Jefferson. So for you guys who don't know, Thomas Jefferson never signed the United States Constitution because he was away in France for diplomatic duties, so he never got a chance to sign it. Yeah, the only president who got to sign the Constitution was James Madison and, and, George, Washington. and George Washington. They're the only two presidents that signed that. Uh, today when I went to the uh, National Archives, I had a chance of looking at the Constitution. And they said that the Constitution was put at the archives in 1952, and they rescued it. They rescued from a house somewhere else. So I'm gonna walk around and show you guys how this looks like. This is how it looks like. There's the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. And they got that, that's the roof, how it looks like. I'm gonna turn it that, I'm gonna turn it like that. Very good for all these writers out
that's pretty cool. That's pretty big. Yeah. Oh, do you want us to take a selfie there? Hmm? Yeah. Because there's more light. So we're going to do... Uh, Yeah, I know this. Now it's much better. Okay, I'm ready. So I'm gonna take a selfie here. She's taking a selfie of me, so. It's pretty dark. Or maybe if I face like this. Check if I face like this. Try that. We're just having fun here at um, the Thomas Jefferson. It's pretty dark. They don't have any lights shining on them. Yeah, maybe that's why they're remodeling it. Oh, that's pretty dark. Yeah, shouldn't they have like a light shining on yeah. them or something? I bet by doing the day it's much better. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see if, uh, let's look at the other statues out here. But that was it, guys. That was the memorial for Thomas Jefferson. And across there, across there we have the Washington Monument. Oh, you know what? This is the best place to take a photo. Where? A, a, self, a selfie. Where? And then he's going to show when he's, when he's standing there. Oh, gonna show. yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay. So we're going to try and do a selfie. Let's do this. And let me turn around. Look at that. Behind there, that's the Washington Monument. It's very slippery. Oh, it's very slippery. It's wet. Yeah. It's pretty wet. So what is this? Marble? Yeah, it looks like it, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money, huh? Yeah. That's I know a lot of these monuments have marble. Yeah, they have marble, all of them. Yeah, let me show you guys how it looks like. It's ma marble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, this looks beautiful. This is the Potomac, right? The Pot Potomac River. Or oh, this is just a map. Sure. I don't is this think the river or lake. They don't say the Potomac Lake River. Yeah. Check it out. So I can let my subscribers know what I'm looking at. That is beautiful there. Look at that. So guys, what do you guys think about this Washington, this Thomas Jefferson Memorial? It's Tidal Basin. Tidal Basin, okay. So this is the Tidal Basin. It's not the Potomac. So the Potomac River... It's on the other side? It's just on the side of it. Oh. Um, like... Oh, remember when we came under the freeway? Uh-huh. It's on right on the other side. It looks oh, like. where we, or right, like where they had a lot of boats. They had a lot of boats there, right? Yeah, the freeway. Yes, that's right. Where the boats are. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's, it's nice lit up, huh? Uh -huh. Look at that. Wow, around this area, this is the Washington. Uh, the National Mall. Yeah. So this is where you find all the cool stuff, you know, the art stuff. Monuments. Monuments, museums, museums archives, library, Congress, Congress, capital, capital all those cool stuff. And the uh, Reagan International Airport is down this side too, so. They got matching coats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get matching coats, baby? Yeah, we need to. Too much for us. Or maybe I should have got one that looked like this. <laughs> that would have been fun. So when you're coming, when you're coming to Washington DC and you want to visit the museums, uh, just go ahead and do it early in advance so you don't miss uh, 
good opportunities because some of the museums you have to book in advance or some of the culture institutions. And parking is atrocious. Oh, yep, that's right. You can park on the streets. Mm -hmm. Most places you got to pay to park, download mm -hmm. the parking app, mm -hmm. and you can um, reload time in case you're taking a long time at a museum or something. Uh -huh. But the problem is at 4 p.m. you got to mm -hmm. move your car. Yeah. And the museums don't close until 5, so it we got kind of shorted an hour. Oh, yeah. In the because, last uh, museum. Because the parking is only three. Three, three hours, right? Well, you can. It says two hours, but you can always add time. Uh huh. But by four, you mm -hmm. have to move your car until six thirty because it becomes a road. Uh huh. That's and if you want to find any research in the National Archives, book two months in advance mm -hmm. on the website. Wow. This is Washington for you guys. A very cool place, but find interesting is just to drive two miles. It may take you a half an hour. Yeah, it's almost like uh, New York. That also took us a half an yeah, hour. Yeah, New York two was miles. New York was a craziest place. But it seemed like this year the planning was was not done properly or something. You know? When they signed the Constitution, the population. Uh huh. Well, not necessarily including the native people. Mm -hmm. The population of, let's say, mm -hmm. people that they included in the Constitution, it's <laughs> <laughs> definitely not African people, mm -hmm. uh, was 4 million. Wow.